Hi, and thank you for joining us here at Tax Talk UK. Today, we're going to talk about your assets and stock that you may have at the time that you decide to deregister for VAT. Before we talk about that, if I could please ask you to take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll easily be able to refer back to this information if you need to, as well as being able to access other information that we have available on a whole wide range of topics, all aimed at supporting you in your self-employment. And of course, if you click the notifications um, icon, then you will be notified as soon as we upload new content. So back then to your stock and assets that you have at the time of VAT deregistration. So um, it is possible that you may have paid VAT um, and reclaimed that VAT at the point that you purchased your stock um, or your assets. So this now needs to be considered at the time that you deregister um, for VAT, because in effect, what you will have to consider is whether some of that VAT that you reclaimed um, now needs to, to, to be paid back in simple terms. That's effectively um, what, what, what is happening. Um, so the, the scenario where you would need to pay VAT are back on um, assets and stock at the time that you deregister is going to be effectively whether you paid VAT uh, and reclaimed VAT on those, um, on those assets or stock when you purchase them. So that's the first thing that we need to consider. So if, for example, you bought some stock um, but the person, the supplier that you um, purchased the stock from wasn't VAT registered, so you didn't pay any VAT, then you wouldn't need to be um, worrying about accounting for any VAT at the time you deregister. But if you did um, pay VAT and you did reclaim that VAT, then that needs to be accounted for and, um, and, and effectively paid, um, paid back. The thing, um, the thing to remember is that when you're accounting for VAT at the point of deregistration, you're looking at the market value of your stock or um, stock or assets at the time that you deregister. So, if you purchased, for example, a large piece of machinery ten years ago and you um, reclaim the VAT you're not necessarily going to be repaying all of the VAT that you reclaimed unless that asset is still worth the same as it was when you when you brought it. And an important um, thing to mention when we're talking about stock, because um, this can this can lead to a little bit of confusion, because, of course, and when you purchase your stock, you purchase it, and that is your cost price, what it costs you as a business to purchase that stock. When you sell it to your um to your customers, then um then that is um then that has your markup on it, and that is the um uh, and that that is the the market value of your of your goods. So in terms of your stock. Um, we wouldn't be looking at accounting for it at the value that you would charge your customers, but we would be comparing it with the value that you could buy it for um, now, as opposed to when you did um, purchase it, depending on what kind of stock you have. If your stock moves um, fairly quickly, then the chances are that the stock, there won't be a lot of difference in the value um, from what you purchased it for. It's going to be things that you've held for some time um, that you've used that have had some wear and wear and tear um, that are, that are, are, are simply worth less than, than at, the, at the time. Um, so the other thing to mention is that if the um, when we're looking at the assets that you hold at the time of deregistration, if the assets, if the VAT that you would need to pay back to HMRC on the assets is less than a thousand pounds. So, of course, that is a, um, a total a total gross value of um of six thousand pounds but a net value of five thousand pounds if the assets are below that 
then um, then no VAT is um, due that that is exempt. So in the scenario that perhaps you've deregistered because you've wound down your business and you're looking to um, cease trading and the and the assets that you have at the end are of minimal value, then you won't need to um, you won't need to include any VAT for them on your final um, your final return. So hopefully this helps you to start thinking about the fact um, when considering deregistration. Of course, it might be that you've ceased trading, um, so you um, so you you are um, you are deregistering deregistering because of that purpose. In which case you will be um, doing something with your assets um, anyway. But if you are voluntarily deregistering, just make sure that you have taking into account that you will need to account. For, um, for for VAT back to HMRC. Um, I tend not to use the um, input and output tax terms because people tell me that um, this is um, confusing if they if they don't readily readily recognize which type of tax. So that is why um, I refer to sales tax or purchase tax or VAT to be paid to HMRC um, just to make sure that the content is fully understandable. Um, for you. So, um, so, so in summary, then at the point that you deregister, you need to account for any stock or assets that the business or the company still holds at the date of deregistration and, and assess whether any VAT needs to be paid back to HMRC on those assets or stock. So we're looking at, did you pay VAT in the first place and reclaim that from HMRC at the time of sale? We're looking at the total value um, and, and um, the VAT um, involved being over a thousand pounds. Um, and we're looking at the current value, the, the value on the date of deregistration, if you do need to pay VAT um, back to HMRC. So um, if this information has been helpful, please do take a second to like the video that helps us understand which content people are finding the most useful and, um, th and the topics that, that we see the most likes on. We will, um, we will work on the assumption that's what you want to see more of. Um, as I mentioned, please do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, it's all content that's aimed to support you and make you more successful in your self-employment. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.